the weather is not cooperating today. And here we sit. Snow day. Not a terrible place to be in the roaming home tent, the nomad here. We're, uh, we got terrible company. Randy's been <laughs> miserable to deal with the entire time, but outside of that, the tent's nice and comfy. All right, guys, this is the Roman home four person tent. We got this tent back in December. We spent about 12 to 14 nights in it on a desert sheep hunt. And I really just wanted to do a video to talk about some of the details on it. We seriously fell in love with this tent and I think it's worth pointing out some of the things that are unique about it and why you should really consider purchasing one if you're in the market for a wall tent. So with that said, I'm just gonna kind of ramble on about some of the features that I loved. Now, before I get started on the tent, I'm gonna start with the bags. Cause that is one thing where you can tell the guys that designed this tent, they'd have, <laughs> they'd had enough bad bags that they decided to make the right ones. I'll show you here. We just got it laid out, but it comes with a nice thick fabric, thick straps, heavy duty clips, and there's enough straps to wrap it a couple of times. I don't know where we have the tent bag, but what they did is they made it so the actual collar of the bag that the canvas goes in is tall enough to where you can have the canvas loose and just shove it in there if you're in a hurry and it's no problem. You can still clip it up and close the bag and get out of there, especially if it's rainy or something. That's awesome. It comes in two bags that are about 50 pounds each. So if you're taking this on horseback, it's pretty easy to throw it on either side of a horse and it's not too heavy. It's pretty small too. You can throw it in a truck, no problem. Put it on a side-by-side. -side. It's definitely one of the lighter, more portable tents that I've seen. And a lot of that is due to the TP style setup. So unlike a lot of wall tents where you have an actual frame inside here, you've just got these vertical poles, you've got your guy lines, and then your center pole. Now, the downside or cost of that, I guess, is it needs to be staked down. You have to have an area that's flat enough and with soft enough ground to stake all the way around the tent. We'll come inside here, and I guess I'll mention real quick that you've got two different zippers. So if you wanted to, if you're loading up the tent or it's a hot summer day and you wanna get some ventilation, you can open that door all the way up. All right, now what stood out the most to me about this tent, especially after living in it for two weeks, was how awesome the central heating was. The stove in the middle is really cool. Number one, because it evenly heats everyone in the tent. So if you've got four cots in each corner, everyone's gonna have an even amount of heat versus having a stove in the corner like most wall tents. This guy's gonna be roasting, this guy's gonna be freezing. So the central stove for even heat is great, but also having that much space for the stove pipe to warm the tent makes a big difference. We noticed that this tent got warm like instantly. Part of that's due to a great stove. Part of that's due to a central heating design with a lot of that stove pipe being exposed inside of the tent versus like most wall tents that have a stove in the corner, you just, letting all that heat go out of the top of the stack. So I didn't set up the stack right now because we're just doing this for the review. Uh, the floor was awesome. Uh, like I said, we were there for two weeks. We got snow, we got rain, we had some pretty nasty weather. Um, all the mud and sand and uh, all the stuff that we tracked in the tent fell right through the floor. We only had to sweep it out a couple times with some branches to get the big stuff out, but it kept it really clean. We, we certainly appreciated that. In terms of walking space, again, because of the TP design, as opposed to the typical kind of house looking shape, um, you don't have those low points where you're feeling like you're walking like this. You know, I could stand a few feet away from the wall and be fully upright. There's plenty of space in this tent. And because of that, you know, it's not the hugest footprint, but I felt like the tent itself was a great size for four people we used one of them as a cook tent. So we had around seven people in it and it was totally comfortable. We had a table like right about here. We had one bed there. We had a table all along that wall, chairs in front of the fire, 
It was awesome. And the guys that designed this, they're actually, they're here in Utah. Uh, they designed this tent, I was talking to them for a while, they designed this tent because they weren't happy with anything on the market. So they really paid attention to detail. They designed it to use it, not just to make another wall tent. This is far from just another wall tent. This really shines in my opinion, especially in attention to detail, such as having a loop on every single seam. So all the way around here, you've got loops. If you're hanging stuff, they make accessories. So you can hang like all your kitchen stuff off the wall. Little stuff like that goes a long way when you're trying to organize for four plus people. In terms of durability, how it did in the weather, we had it in like 30 mile an hour winds, probably gusts up to 40. It was nasty, it was genuinely nasty. We didn't sleep much because of wind noise, but we never had an issue with the tent actually collapsing, no seams ripping or anything like that. Snow, I think we got like two inches of snow on it, so not a ton, um, and it did, it did fine at sloughing the snow. They actually have one set up on top of the plateau in front of one of the owner's homes and he's had an incredible winter up there and I'm pretty sure it's been set up most of the winter time and done fine. There's a couple windows. They are just double wall so there's no plastic in between but lots of opportunity for ventilation in this tent. What else? Things like the uh, flap under here. You'll see that in a lot of wall tents but Having the floor go over the flap just keeps a lot of dirt out. Uh, we never had issues with water coming into the tent, even though there was water all the way around our tent from snow melting and we were in a bit of a hole. Now that's about it for in here. Uh, I will touch on setup real quick. It takes, you can do it with one person, but two people it takes a half hour once you know how to do the tent and it's really pretty simple. Uh, but like I said, if you are just one person, a lot of wall tents you really can't do with one person. Getting the frame up, getting the canvas over the frame, and then trying to pop it up like that, that can be a huge job. So this uh, being as lightweight as it is in both the bags and the canvas itself, the setup is definitely quick. I'm gonna come outside and talk about the guy lines. So this is your tightener here. It's just a bar that pinches this line. And the way it works is you take, when you're setting it up, you take this pull, you put it on this stake, which they give you a substantial stake, which I also love. I have bent way too many tent stakes. Set that on there, take your ring over, plop that guy in there and it just sits in there. And then you tighten this down. One thing that I was really impressed with, the guys that did this, they, you can tell they've used a wall tent before and lost stakes. Because what they did is they put chain link on here. So one, you're never gonna wear through this. If you hit it with the hammer, you're not gonna break your line. But two, you can't lose your stake. This chain doesn't come off these stakes. So when you're going to pull your tent, you've already always got that stake with you. So if it's extra stuck or something, you just grab it, you pull it out, you're not gonna lose that stake because you have to put it in that way. So that's just another example of how the guys that designed this really cared about the product. They were designing it to use themselves and they built this tent because they weren't happy with any of the tents on the market. It really does show in the details, the craftsmanship, it's all made here in the USA. And when you're living out of that tent for two weeks and you have pretty much no complaints, I'd say that's a pretty good testimony. So definitely check them out, romanhome.com. They've got a two-man and a four-man option. You can put different art on the front. You can have different window configurations and they've got some accessories and whatnot. It is very much a tent worth considering if you're in the market for a wall tent. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.